Ross. Jim Allister. Thank you. The Minister said that the Spanish authorities had assured the government that the aggressive actions taken at the border were not centrally approved. Does the government accept that? And when it comes to the attempts by the Spanish authorities to insert themselves into Gibraltar, never mind the Chagos Kig- the, the, the Islands, might they not be drawing more succour from the fact that the British government allowed the EU to insert itself into the United Kingdom, to put a border in the Irish Sea, to, to pass the laws that govern much of the economy of part of the United Kingdom, and might the Spanish authorities not be concluding, in consequence of that, that the UK government is a soft touch when it comes to sovereignty? Minister. Uh, Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Actually, I believe the UK Government could not have been clearer in our representations on this matter, including uh, with the Spanish Government. Uh, On the 11th of October, Minister Doughty contacted, as I mentioned before, Minister Fernando San Pedro, his Spanish counterpart, the UK Ambassador to Spain, also called on the Spanish Ministry of the Interior as well to inquire about this change in approach. And we've been absolutely clear that Her Majesty's government will, His Majesty's Government will continue to work closely with the HM Government of Gibraltar, including on border disruption planning, and we will do all we can to ensure, above all, that the interests of Gibraltarians are put front and centre on this. That is what is driving the government response. Gregory 